Hello guys, welcome back to Sess LTD Deals. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on Sess software. I'm back with another review and today I'm going to review GuideJar. So GuideJar is a tool that lets you create interactive product demos very easily in a very short time. And it is currently available on AppSumo as a lifetime deal. The regular price is $240, but at AppSumo you are getting 80% off, which means you are getting the lifetime deal of GuideJar at only $49. And there are 17 reviews on AppSumo and as you can see all of them are very good reviews. So now let's see all of the plan and features of GuideJar. So the plan one is going to cost $49. Here you can add 10 members on your account. You can create unlimited guides which means unlimited product demos. You can share via link. You can embed it on anywhere. Then there is customization options, no guide jar branding, feedback collection and also analytics. There is also plan 2 that costs $98. Here you can also create unlimited guides. You can add 20 members. There are some additional features. So there is the help center with custom domain and SSL. There is also desktop capture with Mac app. So if you want to buy guide jar on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. And if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Watch the full video till the end to know how. Now let's go to the dashboard of guide jar. So before using guide jar, you must install this Chrome extension. As you can see, I have already installed it. So before you start using the tool, make sure you install this Chrome extension. So now we are in the dashboard of GuideJar and after installing the Chrome extension of GuideJar, make sure you pin it on top. So click on this and then click on this pin button and as you can see it has now pinned. So now I can start capturing which means I can start making tutorials or guides. And on this dashboard, there are already some existing guides as you can see. So this is a guide about how to add videos to watch later on YouTube. So let's open this. So as you can see, this is a slideshow. First, you have to click on this. And then on the next step, you have to click on this. So this is basically how the guides are going to look like. So let's try to create one. And to create your guide, first, you have to click on this record screen. So now I can select which tab I want to record the screen on. So there are two tabs as you can see. The first tab is this dashboard of GuideJar that I am currently on. And there is also a second tab which is the home page of GuideJar. So I am going to select this second tab. So now GuideJar is capturing my browser. It has started tracking my mouse clicks and it is going to create the tutorial based on that. So for example, I just want to show you how to explore GuideJar website. So first I'm going to visit their website and then click on the solution. Then click on product marketing and then I'm going to click on this health center. Then I'm going to scroll down and click on these features. So okay, I think that's enough. These are enough steps to explore the GuideJar website. Now I'm going to stop this capturing process, which means I have completed this tutorial. And now I'm redirected to a page where I can see the tutorial that I just made. So the first step is to go to the home page of GuideJar and then we clicked on the solution on the second step. Then there is another step. We clicked on this product marketing. So as you can see how it is showing, this is amazing how clearly it is showing by highlighting the particular spot where we clicked. And then there is another step. So we clicked on help center. We also clicked on here and then we clicked on features and then there is the last step so just see how easy and how detailed it is the tutorial is simply amazing and you can also customize this tutorial further and this is the list view of the tutorial there's another view so this is the slide view this is the first slide and we have the second slide we have this third slide mm -hmm. and for customization all you have to do is click on this edit now you can edit literally everything you can add a description about this tutorial. You can change the aspect ratio. You can hide the media if you want to sort the steps more easily. And you can obviously customize each and every step. You can also change the position of a certain step. And to edit a certain step, you have to click on this pencil icon. Now you can edit the text. You can also add an additional image or even video to your steps. You can delete these steps. You can also duplicate this step and you can even add an additional step. So it could be step or you can even add a heading or a tip or an alert or even start capturing. So for this heading, it is going to appear like this. For the tip, it is going to appear like this. And then we also have the alert and we also have this capture. So I'm going to delete these additional steps. 
and obviously there are also a lot of other steps that I captured. You can also edit them if you want. And a great feature of GuideChair is that you can even edit the image. So if you click on these three dots, the so first you have to come to a step where you have image, where you have captured image using GuideChair and then click on these three dots. Then you can remove this image, edit this image, download it, reset the marker, which means this marker or remove the marker. And for editing, you get a lot of customization options that you can make to these images captured by GuideChair. And on top, there are some additional options. So you can also customize the appearance. You can add your own branding. You can adjust the scrolling guide settings, such as you can enable the navigation bar. You can select the initial zoom, also the zoom delay. You can also change the settings about interactive guides. So here are those. You can give a CTA with title, subtitle, button text, button URL, and there is also feedback. So if you want to allow the feedback, you just have to enable this option. Guidejar also has a lot of other features. You can also see the analytics about your guide, which means how many people are viewing your guide. Then you can obviously share it. And for sharing, there are various options. So first of all, you can embed it on your website and you can change the preference settings from on top. And there is also exporting option available. You can export as PDF or HTML, or you can copy or paste as HTML. You can also export as MP4 video, but it is going to come soon, this feature. And now if I scroll down, I'm going to show you this last step. As you can see on this last step, there is no marker. So on the previous steps, there were some markers. So as you can see on this step, there is a marker. But on this last step, there is no marker. You can also add that. Just you have to click on this add marker. Now you can position this marker wherever you want. You can obviously make all the previous editing adjustment. So add the text. Add image or video, delete it, or also click on this three dot to get further adjustment options. So overall, I think GuideJar is an excellent tool that lets you create interactive product demos. All you have to do is go through the tutorial that you want to make on your browser. And GuideJar is going to track every click of your mouse in order to create a very interactive tutorial. The process is very simple and there are also a lot of customization options to let you modify the tutorial properly. So if you want to buy GuideJar on a lifetime deal from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. There are all the plans that you can buy from AppSumo.